Squid up? No, squid neutral! Here I am, at Squids Are We, working seasonal and stocking toys overnight. Now let me tell you the basics of this job as fast as possible, so when I tell you some of the bonker events that unfold, you'll be able to understand it a little bit better. Big truck arrives in the back, filled with toys. Unload a buttload of boxes full of toys, big and small, using an assembly belt. Separate and stack them, like Tetris, onto the U-boat for the accurate sections of the store, left side and right side. Unload the boxes from said U-boats by reading the label of the boxes and bringing it to the correct aisle. Repeat until truck is empty. After said truck is empty, sometimes we get two when we die, go to the starting aisles, open the boxes with your box cutter, and start stocking the toys onto the shelves while also printing and placing the price tags. Then, cut said empty box and turn it flat. Leapfrog each other until all the aisles are done. Once done, stack all the boxes that couldn't fit on the shelves, which is usually a lot, back on top of a bunch of U-boats and pallets, and then tuck them away in the back room. Load up and crunch a buttload of cardboard into the cardboard baler. Make sure the store is clear of all boxes. Go home. Now take box cutter and insert it into your- There's other complicated things such as online orders, overstocks, special end caps, etc. But we don't need to get into full detail here. Let's get right into it. Alright? Aisles to avoid. Hey, wait. Why am I narrating for your story? Sen, do you ever stop nagging? The nerf aisle. The lag dinos. Nerf guns are cool. Yeah, they are. But there's so many boxes you could swim in them, and you have to put most of them out. But the shelves never have room. Also, there's this TV commercial that auto runs real close to the aisle that plays this 10 second cheery jingle loop and repeats over and over again. Actually, I do believe that's the same jingle you used to hear on every happy YouTuber's vlogs back in the day. Here, here, let me play it for you, alright? So, so you can remember the agony of that era, alright? Here we go, here we go. Yup. Yup. Oh, oh yeah. Now imagine a 10 second loop that plays on repeat forever. Hmm, that, that, that box car seems to be getting awfully closer. The Brats Isle. I don't know who created such an abysmal box design. They had uneven edges, so like one side was thicker than the other, which means that you cannot stack them in any shape, way, or form even standing on the shelf. Also, no one buys brats anymore. So most of the time, you had a hard you had a hard time finding room for this atrocity of an aisle. The baby doll aisle. Listen, you were locked inside this giant store all night and you could not leave the store until 6 a.m. or you automatically get fired. You were trapped inside with real looking baby dolls that have sensors and moving eyes. You walk by and you see a few close eyes spring open, staring right into your soul. And then they start <laughs> laughing. And crying. And laughing. And sometimes talking. Mama! Mama! But then you get used to it. It, it just gets extremely annoying when you work. Crazy Steve. Now here's an employee whose name is Steve. Now, I don't need to mention how exactly he got his nickname, but yeah, the guy is bonkers. When you are next to him in an aisle, you'll hear him cussing out loud to himself, like he's possessed by that exorcist demon. He is constantly angry and occasionally will throw boxes. Now, having only the overnight workers inside the store, the bosses will let you throw boxes around and also slide them across the store so we don't waste time walking to the destination and placing it down. We call this bowling. Uh, makes sense, right? Now Crazy Steve, on the other hand, will take bowling to another level. Yes, some days he will just 
threw his whole body into a pile of boxes from anger. Sometimes, he'll even throw some boxes at me. If I somehow piss him off, which is extremely easy to do by the way, he's so sensitive that you can trigger him by literally just breathing. Trust, trust me. You know how some people like to walk while working so they can conserve their energy? Well, Crazy Steve will just run everywhere, fully stomping. If you're lucky, some days he'll just skip instead. Now, Crazy Steve wears belts, but that doesn't matter for Crazy Steve. You will see his full moon every time he bends. And he bends a lot. I'm such a barnacle scum that I started snapchatting his butt to a couple of my friends because he showed it to me so often without effort while completely unaware. Never got caught to this day though. Ho ho ho! Oh, did I also mention he's a huge tattletailer? Nuff said. Now I got a buttload of Crazy Steve stories, but we'll save that for another time. We, we, we need to move on, guys. We, we need to move on. Zombie! Now with this job being an overnight shift, that usually means the people who have the most interesting characteristics come out of their cave. You have your squids, who had a little bit too much seaweed. You have your barnacle scum anime watching basement dwellers, and occasionally have some crack lovely ladies lurking about. Do you know that feel when you look at someone and you can automatically tell that this person is probably on some high amounts of sea salt and a little bit extra? Yep, there's this guy. We'll call him Zombie because that's how he presents himself. Dead inside. There was one time Zombie dropped all his candy which scatters all over the ground in front of my cousin and in front of everyone. Dude drops down and starts scrambling and stumbling for them back. Too late, buddy. We already saw. Okay, okay, okay. Here, here we go. Here we, here we go. Taking a piss for the 53rd time tonight, and I hear footsteps enter the stall to the left of me. I then hear something like... My impression of a throwing up person sounded pretty fake, right? Well, like, that, that's exactly my point, alright? There was also another noise that was going on at the same time that sounded like a bucket dropping water into the toilet bowl. In fact, that's exactly what I thought it was. I thought the person in the next stall was my co-worker playing a prank on me. It sounded so fake that I said out loud, Ha, nice try dude, that vomit noise you're making? You, you, you need to practice that man, that, that, that sounds so fake dude. Like, wh what are you even using for that noise? Like a water bucket or something? I finished my business, passed by his stall, that was the moment I realized it was 100% real, 200% zombie, and 300% awkward. Yep, in the same day, zombie passes out on top of six boxes during lunch break, and yeah, I never saw him after ever again, ever, ever again. Sen? Were you even listening to me? Sen! Squid neutral time. Did you know that Frozen was like three years old at the time and it still takes over a whole aisle? I'm pretty sure today it probably still takes over a whole aisle. The store would play like non-stop Christmas music right after Thanksgiving. And you know what? I'm 200% fine with that. I love Christmas music. It's so jolly. Ho 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 ho. Then on occasion, it would play Let It Go. And that's when I let it go. My inner American Idol comes out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I actually did two seasons of Squids Are We. You know, stocking toys overnight. Did the whole Black Friday thing twice. Was bonkers. This is how I got my expensive drawing tablet, by the way. Having two seasons of experience means I have plenty of more wacky stories to tell. I haven't even talked about my crazy bosses yet, or this one elderly man flipping everyone off. I'll make a part two sometime randomly in the future. Honestly, I could probably make four videos out of it, let's be real here. But you know what, since, since I talked about how the job works in the first video, that'll save me some extra time 
or I could just drop in at the beginning of part two. That will save me some extra time for me to drop even more juicy events than before. Like I said, that'll be a random drop. Don't go asking for when part two is. It'll just appear randomly in your face someday, somewhere in the future. Hurrah. Am I right? Hurrah. Insert bankrupt jokes here. <laughs> Honestly, not gonna lie, I knew the day was coming. I, I, from what I witnessed, I, I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. Okay, like always, thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you next time, you barnacle scum. <laughs>